All right, in this video, we're gonna do part three to this material design list tutorial. This tutorial is gonna focus on getting that component made in KOWP or KWGT and uh, getting all these items to show up on our wallpaper. Uh, before you do this, make sure you've watched part one and part two over here on my channel if you're interested in making this material design list. So I've walked you through all of this stuff. I've powered a few of these flashes off. A way to power one off is just to hold down on it and then just press that power button right there. And you're gonna see a new bar. This gray bar on my tasker screen here means that that is powered off. So I'm just gonna run this real quick. I'm gonna add some items to the list and then we are going to go straight into KOWP. So here's the items. Again, remember back in part two, this will break everything up for us. So if I play this again, you will see that these items have been broken up. All right, now let's go into KOWP and see how to get this to show up. But before we do that, let's make sure we remember how to send these variables over. I covered this in part two as well. I'm just gonna refresh my memory on those variable names. Uh, one of them is set to count and one of them is set to my list. Uh, that again, this right here was discussed in part two. So let's go into KOWP and have a look. So I have a blank preset here. I'm gonna go ahead and add a blank component because we are creating a component that way we can easily import it into any preset that we would like. And inside of this component, let's go ahead and build the basic pieces. So I wanna fast forward through this. I'm just gonna make a rectangle with some bars just to kind of give it somewhat of a look. And then we'll come back and talk about how to actually get the list. So there's the basic setup. Let's go ahead and add some globals to this thing. So inside of my component, I'm gonna to go to globals and I'm gonna go ahead and get the list as a global. I'm gonna store it as a global in KOWP and I'm also gonna go ahead and take the number of items in my list and I'm gonna save that as a global in KOWP as well. These are gonna be two text globals. All right, so my two globals, my two text globals are num items. This is going to be the number of items. And we can do a broadcast for tasker on that. So going to br tasker, let's change that variable name to what I had inside of tasker, and that was count. Remember, we did have four items that we added back at the beginning of this tutorial. So that's getting returned there. This is going to be helpful for us to have a message display that we have no items in our list. And we're going to see that whenever we run this task in a little while. For our list, what we want to do here is another broadcast tasker. And we want to say, I forgot what I called it. Was it my list? Yes, it was. So here are our items. And notice they're separated by commas. That's what we're going to perform the regex on. So we have these two globals in KOWP, they were globals and tasks were getting sent over here, but now I can just refer to these items and the number of items as these two global variable names that I have inside of KOWP. So I'm gonna go back over to items and we're going to add a text item and this is gonna be our list. And I'm just gonna put this directly inside the component. And inside of this text item, here's what we wanna do. First of all, let's go ahead and get our global variable list, the list. So there are our items. Let's do some TC reg on this. TC stands for text converter, parentheses reg, comma. And we're looking at this list that we just had a moment ago. And what we wanna search for are commas, but not that comma there. That's just separating what we're getting ready to do now. I'm gonna put a comma in parentheses, and for now, I'm just gonna replace it with a capital X just to show you the regex. And let me close that up with the parentheses. So a moment ago, we had commas in all of these spots, but now we have X's, because we're searching for the commas, we're replacing them with the X. Well, what I wanna do is I wanna put these all on a new line. So I'm going to delete that X, 
I'm gonna press enter. And just like that, we have these things entered on a new line. But what you may notice is that it looks like there might be a little bit of space in between these things. So I'm just gonna delete that back. Notice I did delete that back. If I press space, it's gonna space some of these out. But if I delete it back, just don't go too far. That's gonna put them right beside each other. I'm going to enter down one time. I'm gonna delete back one. And now everything is nice and lined up. These will not be lined up if your uh, keyboard on your Android device does an auto space between between each comma as you add items to your list but uh, you can easily just go back and delete that or if you don't really care about them being perfectly lined up big deal um, also what I'm going to add here is a little minus symbol and that is going to separate each individual piece but you'll notice the milk does not have one so let's come right up here put a minus right there and now we have an organized list based and it was split or not split but it was we searched for these commas and we replaced it with a new line enter on the keyboard and then we put a little minus symbol here to kind of separate our items so checking that this looks real small I'm going to position this in the top left hand corner of the component and I'm going to add some top padding here and I'm going to go ahead and bump the size up so there's our item. Now you can position this however you'd like, but there's one more thing that we want to do too. And what we want to do there, actually what I should have done here is I should have done this. Let's go to the text item and let's, um, I'm doing this slightly different than the way I did it originally. And this will work just fine. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come back to the very beginning of this and I'm going to do an if statement. So if GV num items, is not equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, then I want to return the list. So I'm going to delete that one right there. And what we gotta do also do here is add an extra parentheses because we're doing an if then statement. So if the number of items in our list is not equal to zero, then I want to return this stuff right here. You may notice that the minus is gone yet again. So to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to throw some uh, apostrophes around a minus so we can get that minus back in front of that milk. But now you say, oh, dang, now the whole list is gone. Put a plus after that. And now that's a way I, I don't really know 100 percent what's going on there. But if you want to include items, sometimes you do have to put them in apostrophes and put a plus. That just means, hey, also include the rest of this stuff now. What if the number of items in our list is equal to zero? Then I want to return the following message. So I'm gonna put a comma to separate the last part, like the if this stuff, then we're returning our list. So if GV num items is not equal to zero, we're gonna return our list. Otherwise, that's what this comma here. So here we want to return, and I'm gonna put this in quotations. There are no items in your list. All right, so now we don't see that because GV num items is not equal to zero. Therefore, we're returning that regex stuff that we did a moment ago. But if we come in here and clear our list in a minute, if we have zero items in our list, which is getting sent over from Tasker, we should see this message right here. So let's go ahead and check that. And now, yeah, you can come up here and add some text up here. You can add another bar at the bottom to give it your own look. And one more thing we need to add is to this button that I created in this overlap group with the star, I'm going to apply a touch and it's going to be the task shortcut. So I'm going to shortcut and we're going to do the task shortcut. I'm going to make sure I pick my material design list. Press the back arrow. Make sure you have an icon assigned to this because otherwise you will get a message there saying, hey, you need to assign an icon to it. So now we should be good to go. Let's save this and let's go back to the home screen. So here's our list, and now if I press this button, it should launch that task, the material design list. So there we have it. Let's add an item to it real quick, or heck, let's add two items. So I'm going to add those, and again, remember, the way all of this is working now is it should separate these two, and as you can see, it does do that. So we are getting this fresh updated list. Now let's come in here and clear this list. I'm going to apply that. And now it says there are no items in your list. Now, definitely what I have to do here is come in here and change my text size a little bit. Either that or uh, do it so it kind of wraps around or whatever. It's probably a good idea to come back in here and set this text. Just, to, you know, for those of you who are a little bit uh, new to KOWP, right here, if I go to my 
type my text where I have there are no items in your list. The reason why that's showing is because at that moment in time, sure, it's not showing here. I don't care. The advanced editor doesn't always update on the fly. But anyway, uh, here, the reason why no items in your list are showing is because we cleared our list, which changed our variable value to zero. And that's that if then statement we used a moment ago. So let's go to fix width for our text. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to adjust this width out to here. And I zoomed in a little bit, but it'll be all right. So around 720, that's the width of my screen. Now, if I save that and go back to the home screen, now notice it does enter down this word list where it was cut off a moment ago. Um, something else we probably need to do is adjust the top padding a little bit more so that we're not in the way of our button. So here is my text item. I'm just going to do a little bit more top padding there, something like that. Saving that, going back to the home screen, and now we have our words that are not interfering with our button, and I can come back in here again, I can add a quick item, and this right here is going to be one item, because I didn't put a comma in there, and notice that's exactly what we have there, and then just for, uh, you know, showing you everything, how it's working, we can swipe that off, instead of clearing our list, let's apply that, and now there are no items in your list. Double checking and making sure everything else works as well. I'm going to add these three items into here. There they are. There is that space that I was talking about earlier. And let's suppose that I come back into my list and if I open this up and I didn't want to do anything, if I press the back button, it's not going to change anything. Also, remember you can do this as well. If I swipe away two of these items and I didn't mean to do that, you can press the back button and no changes were made so we're not losing those items in our list. And there you have it. You know, that's a three part series. Part one, introducing you to the material design list, getting your color set up. Part two was the flow control, getting everything to work correctly. And here we have part three, getting this stuff to show up in KLWP. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.